Hey, this is Al McGee with YETicket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called Rita Marino, Just a Girl Who Decided to Go For It. Yeah, this is a documentary about the fabulous and wonderful Rita Marino. Now, if you don't know anything about her, watch this documentary. It fulfills, I say, 90% of her. And the reason I say 90% that I'm sure there's some things she left out, but she's so very personal in this documentary. And what I mean by that is she's telling her own story. Sure, there's other celebrities. They are there to give their comments about Rita, but there are some celebrities who wasn't even born when she got started in show business. Well, she's from Puerto Rico, as you know that, right? And she came up from Puerto Rico to the United States to go for it. Around 1950, she started to get into show business as a very beautiful young lady. So she really started working. She did a lot of jobs. You know, a lot of them, you know, were small, but she was in a lot of films in the 50s. Remember, they had that, uh, what, what do you call it? The uh, type of program where the studio signed you up and you just worked for the studio. And that's what you did. You worked for the studio and the studio told you what to do and what movies to work in. Well, she did that. She was in a lot of good films at the time, but you really wouldn't recognize her. And you'll see her names in credit, but you really wouldn't recognize who she was until you really looked for her. As a young woman, she did a lot of work, like I, I said, but she won the Academy Award, I think it was around 1963 for what film? The West Side Story. But what happened after that, after she won the Academy Award, Hollywood with its racist self did not put her in any other films. Now I'm sure she got, uh, as she stated, that she did get some scripts, but they was basically the same as the West Side Story or something like that. But they did not put her in films for a while after she won the Academy Award. Then her career as far as movies, well, they, her career didn't go down, but her movie career did, but she did television. And me as a young kid, I've seen her in television, but did not know who she was because, you know, they didn't treat her as the star she should have been treated as. Because, you know, many uh, Academy Award winners, they get top billing. Their names are said over the microphone and everything like the Academy Award winner, Rita Marino. Mm -mm. In these TV shows, they just say, hey, Rita Marino here, things like that. But she got a chance to work on Broadway and she also did a lot of television. And she is only one of the few EGOT winners of all time. You know what an EGOT is, right? That means she won an Emmy, she won a Grammy, she won an Academy Award, and she won a Tony from Broadway, that's right. She also talks about her marriage she also talks about, you know, her family, her mother and things like that. Then afterwards, her uh, other family with her marriage and things like that. But she also talks about her love affair with one of the greatest actors of all time. And that actor is Marlon Brando. Yeah, that's right. She had a love affair. Well, I don't know if it was a love affair. It was a little bit more than that with the great Marlon Brando. Look at these two great personalities, two great actors together. But, you know, they didn't get married or anything like that. They just had a tumultuous love affair. Man, I tell you, Rita Marino is one of the greatest actresses of all time and one of the best personalities around. And you know what? She's still around doing it. She still had a show on Netflix. She was in a show on Netflix recently. And She's still around, she's still doing it. Well, she's in her 80s and she's still living life. This is one of the best documentaries I've seen in a long time. And you should watch this. And I'm giving this four palm trees, four stars out of four. It's one of the best. You got to see this to learn more about one of the greatest actresses of all time.
Rita Marino, man. And wait till you see the film she was in. And you know what? She also worked with the great Morgan Freeman. Watch the documentary to find out what show she was in with Morgan Freeman. And please see this. It's going to be in the movie theaters. And soon I know it's going to be up, uh, you know, on the internet somewhere, somehow. But it's going to be in the movie theaters. Go see it because see her on this big screen because she'll be bigger than life itself. Rita Marino, the just a girl who decided to go for it. It's the best documentary I've seen this year so far. Hey, I'm Al McGee with yeticket.com. Thanks for watching this review. Have a good day.